Hi, organizers. Welcome back to At Home with Charlize. I'm Charlize, and I have a dream of an organized home. Let's get started. In the past, we've organized some of my kitchen cabinets. For those of you who are new, I'm going to recap real quick. Okay, this cabinet is still looking pretty good. It was a solid mess, but it's looking pretty good these days. Cabinet two is still looking pretty good. It has my um, flowers and oils. Cabinet three has cereal and crackers. This cabinet has at the top all of my uh, tea stuff. The next row has all coffee stuff. And on the bottom, it's all of vitamins and over-the-counter meds. Still looking pretty good, I think. It works so much better than what it was before. And one of the things that I love the absolute most is this drawer right here, where I have all of my paper goods. I don't know how I lived my life without this. Guys, if you don't do anything else in organization, find yourself a drawer in your kitchen where you can house your plastic wrap, your wax paper, your parchment paper, your aluminum foil, your sandwich bags. I'm telling you, this has been a life changer for me. But this is the cabinet that I've been putting off. Yeah, it is a mess. I'm going to get up on this little ladder so that you can see. It has all kinds of stuff in all kinds of order that I just cannot see. <laughs> I just haven't been able to see how to uh, organize this yet. And this is where most of my spices are. And it's on one of those um, one, two, th three tier stands that was supposed to allow me to see all of my spices. In theory, it sounds good, but in this space, it's not working. There are spices back there that I haven't touched in forever, I'm telling you. Now, this little thing here, it works really well. I, I like that a lot, but you have to get certain spices that are certain size jars. Uh, otherwise, it won't fit in there, but that works really good. And then I have this little thing here that I uh, I think it was do it on a dime where you take uh, two uh, pie pans or cake pans from the Dollar Tree and put some marbles in it. And then it'll it becomes a turntable and that works well, except I have so much stuff up there. I can't really turn it. So what we're going to do is take everything out. I'm going to tackle this today. And I don't know that this is going to be the end all for this particular uh, cabinet because I bought bottles to put my spices in and I want to figure out a drawer that I can put my spices in. But at least for the time being, I can go through here and I can get rid of all those spices that have probably, I'm ashamed to say, have been in my cupboard for years and I haven't even touched them. Because I can't see them. All right, guys, let's see what we come up with. I'm going to take everything out and purge some stuff and then see what we're left with. All right, let's go. Okay, I've emptied the cupboard. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to wipe down the shelves. <laughs> Just going to clean everything up and I'll be back. Here's that three tier shelf, shelf that I was talking about that I had my spices on. And you see, it looks like it should work. If it were out in the open or in a space where you could, I don't know, 
see better <laughs> it would work but it just was not working in my space anyway you see all the spices that had spilled on it um and this look this back shelf is perfectly clean because i couldn't see anything back there so i wasn't moving anything at any rate i'm gonna clean this up and we'll see if i use it all right guys i got it done i got it done and i am well pleased with the way it turned out okay i use that turntable you see my spices look so nice i wiped everything down i really like that and i kept the the uh, cake pans with the marbles in it so that i could put my tall things in and it's nothing fancy but it so works you can see everything you just turn it around and it's there i'm loving that now that a1 uh, steak sauce was too tall uh, to fit on here so i just sat that behind let me stand up on my little step uh, stool here and I decided to use that three-tier uh, stand, but I only use uh, the first and the second shelf. And that way I can see everything. And, uh, you know, you may feel like, well, you, that's wasted space, but I can see what I have now. And this, I'm thinking this is going to be temporary because I still have a desire to put my spi spices in a drawer. I think that is so neat and it's such a good use of space. So at, at least for now, I'm really pleased with this. And then in this basket, what I did was I put the spices that I use like every day, salt and pepper. Um, I don't remember exactly what I've all that I put in there, but uh, the things that I use most often, that way I can just take the basket down use what I need and then put the basket back and on the top shelf here I took these little baskets and in this particular basket is all baking type stuff uh, uh, I think I put the uh, vanilla flavoring the lemon flavoring um, the what else did I put in there uh, nutmeg some allspice, that sort of stuff. And then I stuck these raisins in the front. Again, oh, and I put my container that has all of my uh, cupcake liners in it. I put that in this bin too. And then in this little bin, I just put some uh, extra spices that I use, but don't use every day. And again, I can just pull it out, get what I need and then put it back. And this is one of my favorite things that I came up with. This bin here. It has all of my... You know how we have all these packages of stuff? Like um, gravy mix. Um, here's a, a salmon glaze. My Lipton onion soup mix. Taco stuff. Um, burrito. Chili. Sloppy Joe, all those different packets that'll that be, that are falling around everywhere. I put all of those in this one bin. That way, I can just pull it down, use what I need, and then put it back. And then over in this corner, I just have uh, my peanut butter, and in the back, I have uh, my artificial sweeteners, which I don't really use a whole lot of, but sometimes I have a friend over for coffee or tea or something and they like to use that stuff. So I have that back there, but, uh, yeah, guys, I'm really, really pleased with the way everything turned out. All right, guys, we got this. We can organize our homes one project at a time. All right, guys. Bye, guys. See you next time.